All right, guys, I finally fixed the Prusa Mini, and I'm going to show you, short and sweet, real fast, what was my problem. All right, I'm going to show you what I tried to do to fix it, and then what the last thing that actually did work was. So, this will be a quick video. Uh, okay, see that screw right back there? That screw, if you tighten it or loosen it, will change how it holds the filament and brings it in. Too tight, it's not good. Too loose, not good. Mine might have been okay, I'm not sure. Um, maybe it was a combination of problems, but tighten that or loosen it with an Allen key if it's clicking. Um, I wouldn't touch it until last because it really has to be exact and I messed around with it a lot in here. Um, you can see that is the gear that holds it. So underneath, it holds the filament with the, with the gear there. Um, so I would try that last resort. Um, then um, I tried cold pulls. I tried many cold pulls. If you want to know what a cold pull is, just YouTube it or comment below. I'll make a video on it. Um, I've I heated it up to 260 that melts everything out um, And then it'll work again for a little bit once you go back to 215 You can actually take a piece of filament and you can actually be feeding it through and it'll actually feed through But once it cools down or once it is not printing for just a short amount of time It was stopping so I said, you know what? There's got to be something that's cooling it down so you move this a little bit just make sure if you move this be very careful because it could shoot uh, electric current back to the, the board here um, and then I guess you could fry it um, I wouldn't know I never did it but that's what I heard so um, now I also took apart um, the the heat break here and you can do it with these three screws now what my problem actually was was that this was too low. I don't know why. Um, I tried putting a another tube in there. Um, so when you take it out, get, they give you um, a couple extras in the kit. Um, and I, I tried three different tubes and it kept on doing it. I tried moving this up and down, up and down, just right. And then it was like a pain in the butt to recalibrate. But what I realized is I just had to push it up as much as it'll go, and let me show you from the side so you can tell how mine is. This is how much it should be showing, the threads. Right there, that's what yours should look like. At least for me, that's what worked. It was too low. Now, once you put this heat break up, you're gonna have to also put this up. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna release these three screws, untighten them, push this up, okay? And then you're going to, um, you know, before you actually do the, uh, the calibration, um, you wanna do a mesh bed leveling after you adjust this. Now, you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this down to the point that it's almost touching the base um, and you got like, you know, barely any space, like a millimeter in between um, the nozzle and the base. And then you're going to take a credit card and put it in between this and um, the bed. So once you, um, you, you wanna loosen it right here. It's gonna be this screw, let me focus. It's gonna be that screw right there. And then as you're moving this up and down, you're gonna pull this apart a little bit with your finger to loosen it up so you can actually push it down to the credit card, make a tight, like a, like a snug fit. I, I did it and didn't have a snug fit and it didn't work. You have to have a snug fit. Um, so you'll notice that um, this little contraption, forget the name of it. Um, maybe I'll look it up. But you'll notice that this, whenever it touches the bed, the red light will turn off. Um, and um, it, it registers that basically you're too close to the bed, um, so that's how it automatically calibrates how close it is to the bed. Um, so if this is broken or if it's too low or too high, that could be an issue. So you'll notice if, if you take up 
um, this bed and touch it to the bottom here, the light will turn off. So it'll it'll give it the signal that it's it's too low and it'll back off. I really hope I was able to help someone out with this. If this helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out.